Hello everyone, me Arijit with a new video and in this video I will show you how you can use one of these MPU650 sensors with Raspberry Pi to get accelerometer data, gyroscope data and temperature data using Python. So let's get started. Now at first we have to connect this MPU6050 with Raspberry Pi. Now as you can see there are a total 8 pins but we need to connect only 4 pins the VCC, Ground, SDA and SCL. Now let me first connect this with the Raspberry Pi. So as you can see here I have connected the uh, VCC pin of the MPU6050 with the VCC of Raspberry Pi. I mean the 5 volt pin of Raspberry Pi. And then we have to connect the ground pin of the uh, module with the ground any of the ground pins into Raspberry Pi, and the uh, SDA pin of the module with the SDA pin of the Raspberry Pi, and finally the SCL pin of the module to the SCL pin of the Raspberry Pi, and that's all about the connection. So once again, I am showing you the connections. So as you can see, the VCC will be going to any of the 5 volt pins in the Raspberry Pi. So you can connect this with this pin or this pin. So this, uh, these two pins are 5 volt pins. And uh, ground will be go to any of the ground pins in Raspberry Pi. And the SDA will be go to, uh, uh, go to the SDA pin. And the SCL will go to the SCL pin. And this is all about the connections. Now after the connections are done, we need to get into the Pi and code it. Now as we know that MPO6050 has a 3 axis gyroscope and 3 axis accelerometer and also a temperature sensor. So we are going to write a code to get those data from the sensor and we'll print those data in the terminal. Okay. So now let's get into the Pi. So here I'm using PuTTY to get into the Pi through SSH. Now here you can see I am uh, inside the Pi and uh, now at first what we need to do is we need to uh, enable the serial communication I2C communication for that you need to go to sudo raspi config and here you can go to the interfacing options and uh, there you will get this I2C you click on this and uh, uh, if it is asking that if you are want to like enable or not so you click yes and uh, then you just finish it and that's it okay so like this you need to enable i2c and uh, then you need to check that if uh, you have connected this like uh, this sensor properly or not or your if your raspberry pi has detected this sensor or not to check this you need to simply write i2c uh, detect y and here you write print one and you just click enter and as you can see here is showing 68 so if you also can see this 68 here that means that it has your raspberry pi has detected the sensor properly so this is the address of the sensor okay now we need to install few libraries okay so to install this you can simply go to my github repository and uh, there you will get this commands and you can just simply copy them so we need to install python 3 smbus so you first install that in my case it has already installed okay and you also need to install uh, a python library which is mpu 6050 raspberry pi so so you also can write the code from scratch but uh, this will make it more easier and we can write the code in four to five lines eventually okay so after this uh, we need to write the code so just write uh, nano let's say mpu um, 6050.py 6050.py and now we need to write the code so for the code you can go to my repository and here you will get the code also you can just clone the repository that will be also okay so it is very small code actually because we are using that library like i said so uh, let me explain you the code first so So if you see here, uh, so at first we are importing that MQ6050 library, okay. At first we are importing this 6050 library and I'm also importing time just because I just want to uh, use a slip. And then here we are initializing the object use, uh, as MPU, 
now as you can see here i am writing 68 and this is because last time i have shown you that the address of this sensor is 68 and 0x is just because it's a hexadecimal value so by mentioning this address i am initializing this object mpu and after that i am just using an infinite loop because i want to print all those uh, accelerometer gyroscope and temperature values uh, continuously okay so here to get those values is quite easy you just need to write mpu.getTemp to get a temperature okay so mpu.getTemp uh, will going to uh, give you uh, maybe a float value i think uh, and uh, then i'm just uh, converting this into a uh, string and then just printing with temp okay and uh, here i'm using print to just make a gap okay and the same way i am here getting the accelerometer values excel data and uh, here we are just writing mpu.get excel data okay so instead of get temp we are just using get excel data and uh, and uh, then i am just so it will going to return me a dictionary and uh, in this dictionary i can simply use xyz as keys and then it will give me the acceler acceleration in x axis acceleration in y axis and acceleration in z axis and i'm going to print all those values and then i am just getting the gyroscope data using the get gyro data uh, function and then i am again printing that using the, that uh, dictionary using xyz a key okay and that's all about the whole code and then i'm just giving a sleep time once again okay so like this using this uh, function calls you can get those data and use in your code okay in my case i am only printing it nothing else so uh, let me just uh, copy and uh, run this code and see what happens so you can simply write it like this and save it and then if we just run it with python 3 python 3 mpu 6050.py so if we just click here as you can see it's printing the data properly okay so as you can see the temperature is not changing that much okay and uh, this value is also constant now if i just move this sensor a little bit so you will see this value is going to change okay though the uh, temperature will not change that much but this values this extra acceleration and gyroscope values are going to change okay so like this you can use this okay so that's all about okay thank you for watching this video and i hope you liked it so please subscribe to my channel for more this kind of videos thank you